Hello there, stamping friends. It's Jackie Ballheis from Clomp and Stampers. Today's project is a little bit different for me. We are focusing just on using dies. Now, quite often when there's a bundle that has a stamp set and dies, I like to share projects just using the stamp set. Well, this time we're going the complete opposite and I'm gonna show you some adorable cards that I think you're gonna fall in love with that scream spring and summer, focusing just on using the dies. I absolutely love these dies and I want to share them with you. So welcome if you are brand new to watching me. This is kind of not my normal type of project. Mostly they kind of center around quick and easy cards that are stamped. Today we're playing with dies. So I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you can get some tips though for putting together cards and just general card making as we go through. So don't forget to subscribe, button's right down there. And if you like my projects, please leave me a comment, show me some love and share my video. That's what kind of keeps me going every day. I love reading your comments. So without further ado, let's go ahead, flip this down and I wanna show you these dies and how easy it is to make some fun cards. Hang on one second. Now I know my stamping area is a complete mess today, but I'm ready to dive in and make these cards with you. So I wanna show you the dies I'm using. They are called the Pierced, let's see, double check, Pierced Blooms dies, and they actually go with the In Bloom set. So this is bundled. You get 10% off when you buy them together, or you can buy just the stamps or just the dies. So like I said, we're gonna focus just on these dies. I had a blast making cards. I've already made three to share with you, and we're going to make the fourth one today. So you'll have lots of ideas. Now don't forget with all of my projects, I have a corresponding blog post. You'll find the link right, it's kind of like right down there um, in the video that'll take you to that blog post over on my website. It'll show you pictures of the cards, the card I make, as well as the other ones I'm going to share. Plus, I have a downloadable sheet that you can download and print or save to your computer that will give you all the cutting dimensions as well as all the supplies that I use. So if you'd like to order any of them and make the projects that I'm making, all you need to do is click on one of the pictures and it takes you to the online store. So enough of that. Let's set that aside. Now, I do have to tell you, quite often I do my videos a little bit in advance. So when I in doing this video, you know, prior to you seeing, I don't have the new catalog in hand yet. But by the time you see the video, the brand new annual catalog has been released and you can get products out of it. Um, so that being said, if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you would like a copy of that brand new catalog that we're making believe I'm sharing with you, hop over to my website. Again, links down in the video description and just click on catalogs and you can request one there. Now, I really wanted to kind of stress that because this paper I'm sharing with you is brand new paper in the new catalog. So this is the Bright 6x6 collection. They have a collection with these exact same prints for every color group, bright, subtles, regals, neutrals, and the two different in colors. And they contain all 10 colors. Well, with the um, in colors, there's only five, but there's actually two different sheets. So if we just pick these, you see there's these prints and then when you flip them over, there's those prints. So you get two of each of these, so four pieces with each color, 40 sheets total, but two with each print. This is my favorite, surprise, surprise. However, I love the prints really on all sides of these. So you can pick up whatever color group you want and we're gonna be using the brights, like I said, in our projects. Now. Look at all these fun flowers. What I did since I was using the brights, I grabbed a couple different colors from the brights and just cut out a bunch of different flowers, bunch of flowers, bunch of leaves, the label, the stem, the bow, and I. this pile was much bigger, but I've already made three cards that I'm gonna show you after I make one. And I just had this big pile of flowers and then I started putting them together. It was so fun. So really, the whole purpose of today's video is just to give you some hints so that I can show you how to play with these flowers once you have a big pile of them. Oh, for our card, we have a piece of the Mango Melody Designer Series paper, and we're going to, oh, glue's been sitting there for a little bit. There we go. And we're gonna just stick that onto a piece of basic black. Now I think this is two inches wide 
double check me those measurements. You can download them over on that blog post. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to stick this onto a piece of basic white thick. Now, whenever you're using white as your base of your card, I really like to use the thick because I think it just gives it a little bit more stiffness to it than the regular basic white. And I will, I just need to trim that off a little bit. See how that's sticking out a little bit, but we'll do that later. Okay, let's start playing. Now I have four or three different, actually four different adhesive here. And people always ask me what you know, what are all the different adhesives for? Well, today on this card, you'll see how I'm going to use the regular size dimensionals, the mini dimensionals, as well as the mini glue dots. And they all kind of served a purpose here. So let's just start putting some pieces together. I'm going to start with this larger melon mambo flower. Now, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to come out because like I said, this one I'm creating as we go, just playing with pieces. So let's use two different flowers. We'll stick those there, there. So next, we need a couple stems. Now with the stems, I, I like to use my, adhes my liquid adhesive. You don't need much. See how I'm putting very, very little on the back of it. And we're gonna just kind of tuck it up and bring it down. So there's one. Now you can get this curve going either way. So I think we want that one kind of curving outward so they're curving away from each other so again we're gonna go ahead put a little bit don't overdo it because you don't want this gushing out on you okay and that, it holds really well so it really doesn't need a ton and we're going to tuck that up under that flower like so then let's go ahead and put some leaves so i i think we're just going to take four different leaves here and we're going to stick them on there. I think my regular size, I like to use the regular size dimensionals if they fit. Um, and you'll see here in a second where we want the smaller ones. Let's kind of tuck that up there. We're getting kind of tight. Oh yeah, we're fine. We're good on this one yet. And we're just going to put, you know, I'm kind of, I was going to put four, but I think I'm going to just put three. Otherwise I think we're going to get too crowded in there. So let's stick that one aside. Now, with these littler pieces, let's see, I think we're gonna put a, I think we can fit a mini on the back of this. Now with the minis, I like to use the piercing end of the take your pick tool just to be able to, ooh, are we gonna fit? Ooh, we just fit on there. And then if you have a hard time popping them, or the getting that back off, if you just poke it, you can easily pop that off. We're gonna put that there and then Let's use a Mango Melody. And this is where I like to use the little mini glue dots. Um, I don't want this popped up as much as I do here on this one. So I don't want the dimensional, but your mini glue dots are a little bit easier for small pieces than using that adhesive. And they just stick on there super easy. Now for this one, I think let's do the same thing here. I'm not gonna pop this one up. I'm gonna go flat, okay? We'll put that right in the center of our flower. And I don't know, do we need another one? Let's see what that looks. No, actually, I think I'm gonna leave it just like that. You know, sometimes we can get carried away and, and put too much on there. So there is that. Now we need a greeting on here. Now you could, if you did purchase this as a bundle, you do have some great greetings on there, but we're gonna make believe you just have the dies. And of course, we're gonna pull out my favorite stamp set of all times, Happy Thoughts, because now I can make this whatever type of card I want. Now, typically I'll put congratulations, thank you, thinking of you, happy birthday on the front, okay? But this time, and I pre-did this so we don't have to waste time on the video here. I just stamped the, just wanted to send you some happy thoughts. And I did cut it out with my stitched, rec the stitched rectangle dies. I thought, let's kind of stay with our stitch theme going here. And we're gonna just go ahead and put that right there. Now, I'm gonna put dimensionals behind it again, but I wanna set it here first. I don't want a dimensional way up on this corner because it's gonna be on top of that leaf and it's gonna kind of get crooked on us. So we'll make sure we kind of put one down a little bit further over there. And I think probably three will, three will hold this just fine. And we're gonna come about right there. I want my little stems to stick out. So let's kind of move this up just a little bit. And there we go. 
And there is our card. Look at how fun and easy that is. Now on the inside, I would stamp just thinking of you or even happy birthday could go on the inside. So let me grab the other, actually, I think I told you three, but I have four other ones that I've made. Hold on one second. Like I said in the beginning, I just cut a whole bunch of these of different colors and I started playing. So all, now we have five cards are just kind of taking those different pieces and putting them together different ways. Now I did add rhinestones onto the center of most of the other ones that I made prior to the video. I didn't do it on today's. So here we've kind of, again, we're using these different pieces of that designer series paper that are all part of the brights color and it just coordinates with the fun bright colors I used for the flowers. Added a little linen bow on a couple of these, but there you can see how here's some of those leaves okay we had some of those but again we just i built the flowers with all different pieces and then here's the other one and now here you can see where i use that happy thoughts and i did congratulations thank you uh yeah thinking of you and happy birthday now this great little stitch label is part of the stamp of this die set so those fit in there just perfect for me and then on the inside of each one i did go ahead and I didn't, you know, do anything other than a greeting. So I have the greeting from Happy Thoughts on the inside as well. And since all these card bases were white, I didn't have to put any layers onto the inside. So there you go. Five fun, super springy, summery, bright flower cards, really just using the dies. And you could add any greeting to these that you want. So I hope you like this video. Like I said, it's a little different for me. Usually I'm focusing on the stamp sets, but... I had a blast playing with these and it was just fun and easy when you have lots of pieces cut out ahead of time and just sit and arrange them in different ways. So if you have any questions, as always, please reach out to me. You can leave me a comment or hop over to my website and contact me through there or send me an email with any questions or if I can help you in any way. And don't forget that brand new annual catalog is out. And if you don't already have a demonstrator and you would like a copy of it, hop over to my website for that as well. And I would be happy to put one in the mail. So until I stamp with you, have a stamp happy day.